Hi, Mr. Joseph. Hey, Bird. Today, we're going to interview you some few questions. Is that fine? Yeah, it's fine. So, let's start with the first question. What makes you love teaching TCIS students? Um, well, in general, TCIS students are really respectful and uh, are easy to teach in the sense that there's never like a behavior issue at all. Um, and generally, TCIS students try really hard. So, those three reasons, I think, makes uh, teaching students at TCIS and really um, a good experience. Yeah. That's cool. Um, next on to the second question. How has the school changed in a negative and positive way? Negative and positive way. Um, well, I've only been here, it's only my year, my third year here, so I don't have a lot of experience to look at things from many years past, but uh, I would say that what I've seen, some of the positive things, is that we've had a uh, administrative staff in place for all three years since I've been here, um, at least in the high school with Mr. Tom and, and uh, Dr. Betsy in the elementary school, and they seem to be keeping a lot of consistent things going and adding on to those things. Um, we also, um, you know, I think we have a lot of really good teachers here that are just doing a really good job doing what they think is best in the classroom. Um, so those are all positives. Um, as far as negatives are concerned, um, I can't think of too many. Um, I guess, uh, I don't know, I mean, I'm trying to think of what we have for negatives. Um, not much has gone, gotten worse since I've been here. Um, she says it's perfect. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but, but it's a pretty good school. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, on to the next question. What is your favorite memory at TCIS? Favorite memory at TCIS? Um, I guess it would have to be um, the global issues trip I took last year up to Chiang Mai with about uh, 20, a little bit over 20 students, uh, where we got to live in a uh, Hmong village for a few nights uh, and experience their way of life. Uh, it was a really cool experience to share with those students. Also, when I took one club uh, students out to um, uh, this place called Nam Pha Pai, this rock climbing area and kind of like mountain uh, oh. camp resort and took them to hike up to the top of a mountain and go rock climbing and zip lining. That was a really great experience also. So those two out of the classroom experiences are probably my most uh, memorable experiences. But, um, you know, just everyday experiences are pretty good here yes. too. Yes, yeah. nice. And also um, a funny question for you. Okay. If there are 12 fish, half of them drown, how many are left? If there are 12 fish and half of them have drowned, how many are left? Um, well, there'd be six left, right? The answer is no. The answer is 12 because <laughs> fish can't be drowned. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So that is, that's it for today's interview. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Bird. See you.